lower and lean trellis system that I have set up. Welcome back to another Nature's Always Right video. Today we're going to be talking about training and trellising cucumbers and tomatoes. I'll be talking about general techniques and then also very specifically the lower and lean trellis system that I have set up. So once the plant is prepared, now I'm going to attach my little clip here. And I found that holding it with your index finger, if you just place it in the concave section there, makes it a lot easier. Okay, so and then I'm gonna stretch it. I wanna get it taut. So you'll notice that part of it has this little clip here. The string rests inside of there. It locks in. Once it's locked like that, then you place it on the tomato and clip it in. Okay, this clip comes in, clip, comes out. So it's easy to take them on and off. These are reusable to use the next season. I'm gonna hold it with my index finger, get it tight. Okay, put the string in, clip it, and then I'm making sure that it'll stay taut and it's connected kind of to a branch there. And then I'm going to wrap the central stem around. Some people do not wrap it whatsoever. I'm planning on wrapping them a little bit just to give them a little bit more support. Also because these started to lean over because I didn't trellis these as soon as I wanted to. So I can tell that it's leaning this way. So that's why I'm gonna start wrapping it around this direction to give it more support. And now it's right on the central leader. The central leader will now, with that support, it's gonna start shifting its weight in a way that it, because it knows that this string is here now and it's gonna start growing up it. And then we'll just slowly train it. And I'm gonna do a very slow string wrap around this. Just every foot or so, I'll do one more wrap, but that's it. I'm not gonna get crazy with it because it doesn't need the support because I'm using these clips. Okay, so to get started, let's just show you some cucumbers that have already been trained and lowered. They have not been leaned yet. So let's take a look at this one. So I'm looking for the plant to have a distance, you know, about a foot from the top, because in about five to seven days, it's gonna, it's gonna grow that tall. What I first do is I look at the plant and I would remove any suckers. If the plant was higher, I'd lower it down. And let me just show you guys why this system's so cool. I'll show you how long these plants actually are. So I take one of these plants and stretch it out. This is probably a 15 foot cucumber plant now. Here's the stem. This one goes all the way to here. Okay, so from there, all the way over to this plant and then it will stretch even further so it's like 12 to 15 feet and that's the beauty of the lower and lean trellis if my cucumbers got to the top of my trellis they'd have nowhere else to go except out so they have to produce more suckers to go wide so that is why i'm doing the lower and lean trellis so that i can grow very large plants over a long growing season so here's the first cucumber we're going to take a look at. Now I'm not going to show you guys suckers or any of that. You can see that in another video. So you'll see that the leader here has grown very long. It's attached one of its tendrils to try to support itself. So if we stretch it up, look at that. It's already up to the wire. So we need to lower this at least one twist. Um, if this was growing well above the wire, then I'd lower it down probably two twists. So the first thing that I'll do is just attach one of my trellis clips. And I like to do this first just to, so I can give the plant support before I lower it. Okay, so now it's nice and supported. And I can lower it down. So let's do one. That's a good distance. This is where I like it to be, about a foot from the top of the line. Now that we have our final position, we want to prune off any excess leaves. So here's the huge vine, right? It's all pruned. And then the leaves are touching the basil plant, so we'll get these out of here. So I'm just taking anything off that's touching the other plants or that would be touching the ground. So that we've done that, we've lowered it, the plant now, we've pruned it, and now we need to lean it because there's so much stem and I have a huge gap right here. 
So the plant's gonna move over. So now you can see the plant in its final position. You'll notice it's sticking straight up. And if we follow the stem down, there's the stem going all the way back to the place where it's in the ground. So now let's move on. Here's our next one. The reason I have such a big gap here is because I've removed one of the cucumbers because it got diseased. I'm just taking the trellis clip lower off of the plant. Now, because this one's so much taller, I'm actually not gonna attach the clip first. I'll just lower it. And then that will give me enough string so that I can attach the clip higher up. Now, when you're attaching this clip, it's very important to pay attention to where you're wrapping it around the plant. You don't want to wrap it around this sun leaf here. If you put it around right there, it'll actually keep the sun leaf close to the stem and not allow it to shoot horizontally out from the main stem. So they start out at like a 60 degree angle and then as the plant grows it'll stretch out to a, a perpendicular angle. Okay, so here's a really great example of the clip being put on incorrectly. So you can see because it was put around the sun leaf and it was actually put around, well, it probably wasn't put around the fruit, but the fruit grew up and inside of the clip, you can see they're being bound together. If the fruit develops, it's actually gonna damage or kill the fruit. So now it's been released and now the fruit will be able to grow better and the sun leaf will hopefully stretch out. It's not the end of the world. You know, you just wouldn't want it to be trapped around the fruit and destroy the fruit. So yeah, just pay attention where you're putting the clip. Always put it below the node, that's what I'd recommend. And then when the clip rests, it can rest on the bottom of the, below the node. So just like that, now it's clipped, it's got some support. Okay, now we'll go down the plant and remove any suckers. If you don't know what the suckers look like, be sure to check out my other video about pruning cucumbers, I'll put a link. Now let's go down to the bottom here and we've got a lot of vegetation that's everywhere. So let's just go ahead and clip it out. Looks like we got a, a cucumber to harvest too. We'll do one more. So now our last step is to lean it. So let's lift it up. Make sure you have a good grip. You wouldn't want to drop the plant. And now, so I'm pulling the vine until I feel tightness and then putting it on the line. Then I just want to come back and look at it. You know, it's got a little bit too much curve, so I might, there we go. So that's a good position. Now it's coming straight up and down. There's no leaves touching the ground or on top of the basil plant. Okay, so this one's done, perfect. So it's always the best idea is to lower it once or twice, then prune them, move to the next plant, do that for all of them, then come back, do the final lean and that's what I've found to be pretty efficient for me. So sometimes you won't have to lean the plant because there's already enough length of stem that it just doesn't make sense or the next plant is budding up right next to the next cucumber. That's also possible as well. It just depends. And when you're starting to do the lean, it can be tricky if you're, say, like, you know, if you just started with this cucumber and you moved it over, it would run into this plant right away, right? So you want to look for when starting it, start leaning the plant that has the biggest gap next to it. I chose this plant because it had this gigantic gap there uh, because of a missing cucumber. So that was a really easy point for me to start lowering and starting this carousel because as you continue to lean, eventually, what I've done with many of these is when you've leaned all the way to the end, what do you do with the end plant? Well, then this one switches to the other side and you'll take it and, and set it to the next hook on the other side. So most of these plants right here, if you see where they're connected, they're connected to the ground somewhere down here. And then they've just gone around to the other side. So if we check out what we've started to lean, we're going this way. So our next plant's gonna go this way. The next plant's gonna go this way until we get to here. So these plants are all shifting down this way. So this one's gonna move over. There will be a gap right here. And in that gap, we will put this cucumber plant. I'm just gonna lower the rest of these and prune them. 
and then I'll show you guys one more time how to lean them. Hey guys, so looking at the tomatoes, it's exactly the same process. So of course you come through and prune, you take out the suckers, all of the same process. And then of course we would lower it just like that. And if it needs to be leaned, we would lean them all. And the same thing goes with the clips, make sure it's below the node, um, not around a sun leaf or fruit. And yeah, you can follow the same exact steps that I taught you on the cucumber on the tomato. So on, on the tomatoes, you can see how wound they are. Not as long as the cucumbers, but still kind of cool to see. Quickly, I wanted to show you guys another way that you can trellis things just as an option. These plants aren't the healthiest. This is in just a, my neighbor's backyard. But this is called trellis netting. If you want to kind of let your stuff go crazy on a vertical trellis, the netting's really good for that. Um, you don't have to train as much. You can let the suckers go more wild. Stuff like this is good to use. Little bamboo stakes or larger pieces of bamboo. So I'll use a smaller bamboo stake to help me get up onto a trellis. Uh, something else you can do, you could actually vine a cucumber or tomato on a piece of bamboo like this. So you could just stick a piece of bamboo in the ground and then just, you know, slowly wind it up or tie a little piece of like Cecil or some type of string around it as your tie. And there you go. That's a super simple, cheap trellis. So I just wanted to give you guys a couple more options of what you can do. There's a million ways to trellis things. I mean, you could use anything for a trellis. Just got to get creative.